when Moses went up to receive the Ten Commandments from his God, he went to Mount Sinai. Sinai actually means the mountain of sin or sin's mountain. The suffix I is an ancient word for mountain and sin is the name of the moon god at the time of Moses. What an amazing revelation this is, hidden in plain sight. Since these ancient times, Moses has been depicted down throughout the ages with the crescent moon on his head, which was later depicted as horns. So I ask you, Christian, which God were Moses and his followers worshiping? And who gave him the Ten Commandments? <laughs> the first commandment, thou shalt have no other gods before me. This is the clincher. This is the, the revealing factoid, if you will. It is the one that seals the deal right from the start because as far as cosmic law is concerned, this creates a contractual agreement. If you accept, you are therefore giving permission to this God to have over ownership over you, over your traveling spirit, your immortal spiritual essence of the great cosmos, of the great arena. People do not understand how this God operates using contracts and law. This is what our societies are structured on. Roman law was handed down through Moses from his God. That is why there is always a statue of Moses or the tablets of the Ten Commandments outside the highest court buildings in the land. Our societies are built on this synthetic authoritarian construct called law, created by this God entity that has been imposed over the top of the natural and organic way of life, which is known as universal law, universal law, cosmic law. This is why and how our freedom and sovereignty has been systematically eroded over the past few millennia. In the following commandment, this God then admits he is a jealous and vengeful God. How can people be so blinded? How? <laughs> 